So we got people in the upper echelon of UMG. They put Diddy out there. Diddy does the bidding. See, the people of color have to not do the bidding of the higher ups. The people of color have to not do the bidding of the higher ups. So the upper echelon is using the rappers and the Jay-Z's and the whoever's. And the reason that the white people control it, okay? And people say the Jewish people, it is a certain sect or group of people and it isn't an ethnicity or a religion. They look white. What it is, is it is an interbreeding of human being and entity that can only harvest through whatever the hell it is the white people have. That is why there has been a race war. It's not actually a race war. Like human beings don't really care. These are entities that are causing this problem mixed in with white people. That is the problem. Station, I am the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose of Jericho, coming at you with some judgment news. Shalom, all of my sisters and my pro stars of the star seed, united allies and friends. I send you infinite love and light, and I receive yours. Abracadabra. Let's read Genesis, the third chapter in the 15th verse, before we go any further. I mention this all the time, okay? I will. This is the Most High God of Israel, the Creator, saying, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. Okay, so that's Genesis 3.15, and that's what Sloan Bella is talking about. Sloan Bella is a psychic. I've only seen her twice, and she has been spot on. She And, and that was regarding uh, the burner phone that uh, Cassie found. And she, she talked about that Kim Porter came, and her spirit came and directed her as to where this... Uh, burner phone was and she said that it was going to be a girl to find that that uh burner phone and that uh it is going to have a lot of evidence on it and ultimately take p diddy down and she she talked about that like six months before you have to go look at it if you're interested okay but she was spot on that was the only time i seen her and yesterday i was looking at uh another credible source and he was talking about p diddy and everything he's just been given every little detail on it and he mentioned sloan bella okay so i wanted i wanted to see what she had to say and she she broke it down okay it's it's real the most high god of israel cast a spell upon this earth okay now, this is before Adam and Eve were cast into this particular dimension. Hashatan was housed by the serpent. Okay, the serpent himself was not Hashatan. The serpent lent his body to Hashatan. I was possessed, you could say it like that, when he did his, whatever debauchery he did uh, with Eve in the garden. That story is way more than what we know, okay? <laughs> Eve was not a bimbo, and Adam was not whipped. It was all a process. It was all the beginning of this great experiment that the Most High God of Israel planned out to rid the universe of evil okay so he did a magical spell he put enmity between the woman seed whom we are and the serpent seed we got people in the upper echelon of umg they put diddy out there diddy does the bidding see 
The people of color have to not do the bidding of the higher ups because it looks like it's just that. But that's the first rung of assholes. And then we got a whole other rung of assholes up here. So she's talking about the puppet masters like Clive Davis, who we haven't taken to the courts of the Most High yet. Yeah, we took Leor Cohen to the courts of the Most High, but they are serpent seed and they are on a higher echelon. They might not be at the very top, but they're higher up there. They're high up there in that pyramid. They're high up there in that pyramid and they are puppet masters. And they do call themselves Jews and are not. So see, we know that they are serpent seed. Just like the Governor Parson. See, he's a lower level. He's like a dirt bag. He's like down at the bottom of the pyramid, just right above our heads. So she's talking about echelons here. It's a hierarchy, y'all. Serpent seed are throughout the pyramid, if you know what I mean. Not all serpent seed claim our identity or stole our identity. Some of them are in your churches and and all other kind of religions. You know, that that is beside the point. We're talking about DNA now. A whole other rung of assholes up here. So we got the lower. So they're still in servitude, but in a different way. Okay? They're still in servitude. And that would be those at the top of the pyramid. They serve the 13 families. And some of them are part of the 13 families. But the puppet masters, yeah, they serve the 13 families, and the one at the very, very top with the purest of serpent seed, Hashitan, bloodline in their DNA. But then let's look at uh, whatever I said, UMG. Who owns UMG? Seagram's, Canadian. This is how I know this one. Canadian, my people, we're always overachieving. We're also in the trade of weirdo. Anyway, Seagram's. Who owns Seagram's? Clara Brothman's family. Clara Brothman, right? Nexium. When she mentioned Clara Brothman, I wouldn't have known who she was talking about. I wouldn't have known anything too much about the Seagram empire if my life path hadn't taken me in a certain direction. So, I mean, this is kind of... Um, off subject a little bit, but I'm just telling you how the Most High God of Israel takes you on a certain path to experience certain things. So, um, in one of my careers, I was a, a construction estimator. Yeah, and my specialty was concrete, you know, and I was very, very good at it. And so, and Randy he was a construction manager, a site manager. So we were getting paid really good at that time. Boy, we had that job office in Beverly Hills. It was just like the bomb. A very, very good time for us. And we were working for a Jewish. He was an asshole too, but I made him pay. I wasn't taking his shit. If if I if he said something to me or treated me in the slightest, I had my ways to make him pay. Yeah, and would never, never, ever humble myself at all. Okay. So anyway, y'all. He was this little Jewish guy that was the owner of a development company that built mansions. I mean mansions in Benedict Canyon, Canyon, in um, the Hollywood Hills, um, where else? And, you know, all of these, these zip codes where the rich and famous lives. And he was, I mean, I think at the time when I went to the company, he was building eight of them. Eight mansions, okay? So he had eight crews of construction workers. And uh, Randy, he was the site manager over two of the mansions. And I was in the office calculating these materials, the cost, and how much to order because that was they lost a lot of money with a lot of waste and returns because they didn't have an estimator. So anyway, y'all, 
Clara and Sarah is two of them. They're the heirs of the Seagram's empire. They were the ones that was funding the whole thing. I kid you not. But the little greedy lower level serpent seed that I was working for, he started, you know, embezzling the funds and building his own mansion over there at uh, Lake Arrowhead. He started taking all the funds and sending all the best of the workers or maybe even hiring other contractors to build his mansions and uh, the progress of the mansions. That the ones that were being built, the work in progress was like really, really slow. By the time me and Randy got hired by the company, Randy got hired first. I used to uh, estimate his concrete for him, for his company, when he went to work for that company. Then he told them about me because they were like losing trucks of concrete. But anyway, I could go on and on about that story. So anyway, the little Jew man, he was still in the money from the upper echelon and so they came to investigate and that would be Sarah and uh, Brofman and Clara Brofman's um, people and one of them was from Nexium and the the guy that we originally he he was kind of like dabbling dabbling with Nexium so this guy he had a newspaper on the the uh, East Coast, and he was, he liked to investigate. He was like the editor of his newspaper, and by him being involved with this investigation, he ended up busting out Nexium. He was the one that opened up the whole Pandora's box on Nexium. This is crazy. Randy would tell me about Nexium. But I didn't really know what it was about. He said, you know, this company is owned by a cult. I said, what kind of cult? And he said, it's a, <clears throat> it's a white people's cult. And I don't know what they do, but uh, it's very cult. It's like witchcraft and stuff. And I was like, oh, wow. And what they were doing is making lower level serpent seed their slaves. You know, it was all in the news for a while about Nexium. I'm not going to go into the story. But yeah, the upper level uh, echelon, which Clara Brothman and Sarah Brothman belong to ne Nexium. And the owner of the company, his wife belonged to Nexium too. Okay, and they were recruiting lower level serpent seed women mostly women to this cult yeah and so it it got busted wide open they were branding people with irons and all kind of shit so basically they were treating the lower level serpent seed like go you yeah, y'all, it was a crazy cult, and the guy over it, I forgot his name, but they called him the Vanguard. Yeah, it was crazy. So we talking about the highest of level serpent seed here. Yeah, and they were trying to make the Hebrew Rose Jericho and Randy cooperate with them um, in this case, this civil lawsuit that they had against the little Jewish man, but they didn't want to pay us. And by that time, the company was had folded and we didn't have any jobs. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, you're going to have to give us some jobs or something, but I don't have time to just give people. I'm not a slave, you know, so we didn't cooperate with them. Yeah. And so they tried to make me and Randy cooperate with them, but they didn't want to pay us. They wanted us to help them win the case with them stealing the money and how they was running that company. They wanted us to be witnesses for them. And I was like, I I'm not doing nothing for these rich people. They're not paying me. I don't have any time to just give them. I'm not a slave. We don't work for the company anymore. So they start th actually threatening us. They're lawyers which was in this high rise in, in, uh, uh, in downtown LA. They started calling us and telling us that if we did not testify, 
that they were going to bring criminal charges on us and they would have the judge to like arrest us until we decided that we wanted to testify. So they were basically going to make us, and these are high powered lawyers that were threatening. I told him, I said, if you try to make me do anything, I will show up all right. You're not going to get me on that one. But how I show up, I will be coming in as Clarabelle the Clown, and I am not playing with you. Nobody will take me seriously, so go right on ahead. They start threatening Randy, and Randy was like a big, tough guy. And, you know, he had his life experiences, and they were trying to threaten him with jail, too. He said, that ain't shit to me. You can't make me do anything. Yeah, they were going to try to make us. So I actually came up against the people that she's talking about, the heiress of the Seagram's estate. Yeah, ain't that weird? Oh, my goodness. Anyway, let's get back to it. I just thought that was interesting how I actually was working for a company for these people on the very top. That's crazy. Anyway, Seagram's. Who owns Seagram's? Clara Brothman's family. Clara Brothman, right? Nexium. They all own an island that has one structure on it where everybody goes to visit. So you know they're trafficking. You know they're trafficking. In other words, serpent seed, P. Diddy parties. Just like on the other video, I don't know, a couple of videos ago, with this trafficking thing, it's all about energy. It's all about manipulating energy, harvesting energy, because Hashitan cannot operate without someone else's energy, so he used these serpent seed to operate through, number one. And I'm telling you the shocking things that you know, that we have witnessed in this last week. <laughs> Those kind of parties, yeah, it's a lot of energy going on there. A lot of distorted, wicked energy, but it's still energy. I bet P. Diddy's 50-foot bed that he had in his backyard was smack dab on the ley line. That's why my brothers, the ley lines, this is, this is how I really, when I first found out about the ley lines, very, very magical. Those are, uh, certain places are portals to harvest energy. And I found out that there was, there's a, a map, an old map, and it has these tunnels that are way deep down. They don't pass the crust of the earth, but they're very, very deep. And these reptilians, they have certain things on the ley lines. I found out there's, uh, they, they, okay, so they have all these tunnels, and then they'll have a room, and it's a map of them. And they have all kind of uh, treasures, like, uh, I'll say wealth, down in these tunnels. But people can't go down there because the reptilians are down there. And so then they have these big old rooms where they collect the energy. Guess what's on top of them? Guess what's on top of those rooms that's way deep down in the earth? Like Dodger Stadium, Angel Stadium, your uh, different schools, your different churches, governmental buildings. That's why they had us doing all of those emotion emotional outbursts and had us dancing in the church and the preachers, you know, all that energy built right on the ley line. All of that um, entertainment, sports entertainment and concerts, you know, in these different um, stadiums, coliseums and all of that. They put the they put them right on top of those collection ports. There was some movie about that, too. I remember a long time ago, like from the 70s or 80, 80s, and, but they had aliens down underneath the earth. And they were collecting the energy and they had some like some kind of um, technology. And they would come and collect right underneath like statues or something like that. They would collect the energy from the statue and take it back down underneath the earth. 
in these like tubes or something, almost like those tubes at the drive up bankers, you know, something like that. Yeah. So they have been collecting energy in all different kind of ways, but their energy is just weak. They needed our energy to destroy us and steal our rulership. And you see how the Most High dismantled the whole thing? Our our nation is going to heal just because the Most High God of Israel magically, all of a sudden, very quickly, he turned the very famous into the infamous. He cut the puppet strings. Hashitan can no longer use their energy. We asked the Most High God of Israel to do that, not just for our nation, but worldwide. You know, those that were sending out the lies and influencing the wrong way, we asked that the Most High make the famous, infamous, and he has done just that. And it was this is another receipt that was months ago. But this is just another receipt that the Most High God of Israel, he adores and he loves our energy. That's what makes us so magical. He hears these cases and he does call for judgment and justice. And we're all a part of it. It was all in the Most High's plan. Now, going back to this DNA, okay, so we know we're the children of the Most High God of Israel. The 144,000 that are now on this planet, our our 5D mother is the Holy Spirit, Marihala, and our father is the creator, same parents as the Messiah. So our energy is very, very potent. Yeah, because of our DNA. And and I'm telling you, they knew about this too. They knew exactly who we were from the time that we were born. And that's why our lives were so hard because we got tested the most. But anyway, going back to this DNA thing, all white people are not reptilian serpent seed. All white people did not get mixed they didn't breed with the serpent. And I'm just going to make that, that that's just, it was a lot of people over here in this dimension before Adam and Eve came, not humans, but people are kind of man, mankind, kind of man was already over here before Adam and Eve got here. Okay. And those people, their energy is, is not, potent enough it's not potent enough to use for certain things so what do they do they do just what she said what she said she said what she said african americans need need to learn how to not serve them because they need our energy they want our energy so very badly to accomplish what they wanted to do which is to steal our future rulership Okay. And so if they could keep us all distracted and on top of that with the music industry, what did they make people's energy do towards us? What did it make what did it distort our energy to do? Despise us. We despised ourselves. They even had us despising the way our beauty, our own beauty, had us despising it. They had us despising each other. They broke down our family. They morphed our energy so much, using our own people to do it. And they used our energy to cause the the whole world, humanity, to despise us. Yeah. And now this P. Diddy thing. And and see, serpent seed, those upper echelon serpent seed that we're talking about right now, they're looking at P. Diddy. They know everybody that was at those freak-off parties. They have the images, too. Believe me, there's a lot of evidence out there. Believe me, these upper-level serpencies, I mean, the ones at the very, very top, they weren't at the freak-off parties. Maybe the ones like Clive Davis that's like puppet masters, they might have been present. But the ones that are really, really at at the top of the pinnacle, 
they think that they're just going to get away with it. They they think that they're going to get away with it, that like they, they're not going to have to pay their karma. So Hashitan used those Hebrew Israelites up. They're, they're, he always hated them, like I said on uh, another video, that Hashitan, he, he, those puppet masters hated them the whole time, okay? Because it's in them to hate us, but we were necessary. Our powerful energy was necessary to influence the vibration of the planet. But when, when you're no longer of any use, you know, do you think they give a damn? As much as P. Diddy did for them, as much debauchery as he has uh, performed and influenced and caused others to do for them, do you think that they care about P. Diddy's troubles? They're laughing at him. They're like, oh, well, we can't use that method anymore. And, and the Most High took all the puppets out. He he cut the puppet strings with that one. And they think that they're going to get away with all of that. Well, she just mentioned that they have an island too. And we already know about the Bohemian Grove. They're going to get it too. They're going to be judged before the world. They're not going to get away with it. It's going to be some damning evidence coming out of a Pandora's box on their asses. Abracadabra. Yeah. Uh, ooh, we, you guys, this was like, so this, this video was actually fun. It was actually fun to do because I could see what the Most High is doing in this great reset. Yeah, and I'm so happy that I have um, this good news for you. Yeah, all of it is good news because time is almost over. I'm going to uh, follow this video up very shortly uh, regarding our our bro star that they executed, Marcellus Williams. He's okay, y'all. He's all good. And I have receipts on how I know he's all good. Okay. Yeah, so anyway. They bruised our heel. That was them bruising our heel when they executed him. That was a bruising of the heel. So it's time to bruise his head, to take his ass out. It's like mother's taking us step by step by step by step by step until we're going all the way to the top. We hit them at the top on last video with them trying to steal the algorithm. They want domination and control over the algorithm so that they can influence the earth themselves with images and sounds and words. And uh, so we dealt with that. That was that was bruising the serpent's head. And now we're going to bruise their heads again. And Mother is pinpointing who these people are. And so now it's not Keith Rainier who's at the top of that little organization, Nexium, but it's a woman. Her name is Nancy Salzman, and she called the office that I was working in many times. And when she called, honey, they went running to that phone. Yep. <clears throat> so Nancy Salzman, Clive Davis, and... Leor Cohen. These were the serpent seed. You see that Keith Lanier was teaching on potential human development. That means how, what could they do to develop and to manipulate mankind to be what they wanted them to be. Anyway, evidently Keith Lanier and the one at the top now wasn't getting along. So she found a way to get rid of him because that's how they do it. So he's locked up for 120 years. So you know it had a lot to a lot of stuff that happened at that cult we don't know about. For him to get 120 years, it was some stuff going on, just like at P. Diddy parties. And it even came out that um the doctor, he wasn't Dr. Uh, Fauci, the one for the vaccination for the COVID. It was a doctor on his team. That was like sort of like public information. This Indian guy, 
where him and his wife were going to P. Diddy, white P. Diddy parties. White P. Diddy parties. He was talking about popping mollies. And this is during the COVID pandemic. He was the one that was telling everybody to stay six feet away from each other. No crowds. He's the one that pushed that while he was at a P. P. Diddy party parties, white P. Diddy parties. The other serpent seed wild parties like that are freak offs. Him and his wife popping mollies. Yeah, so see, they do it too. All of this is very magical. Very, very magical. And how did they seal the deal with, I'm going to talk about P. Diddy, T.D. Jakes, Tyler Perry, and, and it's a list of other ones. These Hebrew Israelite wicked priests of Mahan that are homosexuals. Because they know, they know that if you practice that act, that is one of the acts that would make the Most High God of Israel hate you and have enmity with you. So these are total, total enemies of our people, those wicked priests. Um, you know they're trafficking, right? So the upper echelon is using the rappers and the Jay-Zs and the whoever's and the reason that the white people control it, okay? And people say the Jewish people, it is a certain sect or group of people and it isn't an ethnicity or a religion. They look white. Interbreeding of human being and entity that can only harvest through whatever the hell it is the white people have. That is why there has been a race war. It's not actually a race war. Like human beings don't really care. These are entities that are causing this problem mixed in with white people. That is the problem. Yeah, so they finished off our image, period, period. And what causes race wars? Anger and hatred, anger and hatred. And it was their duty to display to, to distort our image, distort us as a people, all of our energy as a people, distort our families, distort our relationship, rob us even of brother, brotherly love, and cause everybody else on the planet to have a reason in front of their faces to hear us call each other bitches and hoes and talk about drugs and violence against each other. Distort our images, having our women looking like hoes. This is this is all recent history where our women would walk around looking like hoes and would twerk and all of that kind of stuff like that. That is the image that they put before the world to give the world an excuse to despise us. Period. Period. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm trying to get water from the ice so that's what's going on snoop dogs going down snoop dog my friend i don't know you but you're going down you are going down snoop dog snoop dog is shaking in his boots he already got this news because people that's following hollywood now they're following the magic and they're following reputable psychics that say things that happen and they come to pass and she's the one that told Cassie uh, the message of where that burner phone exactly. It was in a box in his office. She gave details of where the doggone thing was. And that girl must have heard about it and she found it. Now she's talking about Snoop Dogg is going down. Snoop Dogg is probably going to leave the country too. Just like Russell Simmons. I heard he left the country. I heard Jay-Z left the country. Leonardo DiCaprio left the country. So it's a lot of them leaving the country now. They're trying to get up out of here because the earth is swallowing up P. Diddy, just like in the wilderness. The wicked disloyals that want to bow down to the golden calf, they all were swallowed up. And everybody that was involved in this big old debauchery, that harmed our nation. Y'all are going to be swallowed up by the earth just like P. Diddy. And it's no 
running away from it. Because the Most High God of Israel is judging you. And it's just starting with P. Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> They've been knowing what P. Diddy was doing. Please, anybody with powerful influence, anybody that has a powerful influence, that kind of energy, they monitor them carefully because they don't want them to switch on them at any time. So they know the CIA, FBI, all of them, they knew exactly what was happening with Diddy. They probably have some evidence, too. Yeah. And then those at Nexium, Yeah, it's somebody that knows exactly what you have been doing and have evidence on you, too. And they're going to come forward and you don't know who they are. You have no idea who they are. But they've been gathering evidence on you for a long time. Yeah, y'all got rid of Keith Lanier as the leader. But they but he, you know, you know, he got swallowed up too. But y'all gonna get swallowed up. All of the disloyals are gonna get swallowed up in everybody that caused this whole thing to happen in the music industry. They gonna get swallowed up. And that's what's happening right now. So we can move on as a loyal people to the Most High God of Israel and his son, the Messiah, the King and God of this earth. Period. People, and it isn't an ethnicity or a religion, they look white. What it is, is it is an interbreeding of human being and entity that can only harvest through whatever the hell it is the white people have. They only can harvest through what these particular white people have. That is why there has been a race war. It's not actually a race war. Like human beings don't really care. These are entities that are causing this problem mixed in with white people. That is the problem. Mm. Yep, through mother's guidance now. Like I said, had I not worked for this company and knew something about it, I wouldn't have known what she was talking about. But at this time of the Great Reset, Mother is actually pinpointing certain people all the way to the top of the pyramid. The puppet masters, puppet master, are masters. Yeah, and it's one at the top. And so these Nexium serpent seed that has caused and just just honey, they tore up our nation with that shit. But what it what they lost. They actually lost because now they had all of this time to distort and to try to destroy us so that we wouldn't even be a people. They distorted our our uh energy so bad until we wouldn't even be the people anymore. That's what their main objective was. And have everybody Ultimately, just with the ultimate hatred towards us, that was their ultimate goal. And uh, Mother pinpointed them. So let's take Nancy Salzman, Clive Davis, and we'll take Leo Cohen again because he was one of them too. Yeah, we're going to take them to the court of the Most High God of Israel in Zion. If you are new to my station here at Judgment News, yeah, we talk about a whole lot of esoteric things with the news. Yeah, our Holy Mother is downloading all this information so we don't just talk about what they do. The Most High God of Israel has provided a way for us to fight back. And so our Holy Mother led me to discover Zion and the court of the Most High God of Israel. And that's where we're taking them. And the magic works. She told me it was magic against magic. You don't think that these people was using magic with, with all of their adrenochrome and their sacrifices and their orgies and all of that? You don't think that was magical? I do. But we were oblivious to our magic. We're no longer oblivious. And we fight back in a magical way. And so we're going to go on over to the courts of the Most High, Star Seed United. You know what to do. Put your abracadabras and your 777s in the comments section. 
whatever the hell it is the white people have. That is why there has been a race war. It's not actually a race war. Like human beings don't really care. These are entities that are causing this problem mixed in with white people. Father, once again, we thank you for choosing us to come to your holy courts in Zion, presenting you these cases against the enemies of our soul, serpent seed at large. And Father, this morning, we are bringing Nancy Salzman, Clive Davis, and Lior Cohen before you. They have used Hebrew Israelites, those wicked Hebrew Israelites that sold their birthright for a bowl of beans to serve Hashitan and to bow down to him so that they could ride on the top of the world with fame and fortune and wealth. And we see, Father, where you're already judging them. They are being swallowed up just like in the wilderness. And the ones, those puppet masters, we see that you cut the strings, Father. You cut the strings and they can no longer use those wicked ones. And they think that they're going to ride this one out with impunity. Father, we ask you to snatch away the impunity from them. Expose them and open up the Pandora's box of information, evidence, video evidence, paper trails, trips, travel logs. We ask you to open up that Pandora's box upon them too for causing our nation such damage with their magic. Mother, we thank you so much for this guidance on our holy mission, leading us and guiding us, showing us who our enemies are. And now you're pinpointing the ones at the top, showing us how to bruise their heads in these holy courts. We adore you, Mother. Thank you for all of your wisdom. Father, we ask that you destroy that organization, that wicked headquarters of Nexium. Yeah, the ones that is just riding right under the wire. Yes, we ask that you trip that wire, Father, and just destroy Nexium and Universal Music Corp. Father, we ask that you expose everything that they did. And we ask you to do another magical spell. All of those that were influenced by their magic, Father, we ask that they specifically see that they, how they got tricked and fooled. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. And let there be no place on this planet where they cannot be found. Let them have the same... As P. Diddy did. Now, nobody wants to be seen with P. Diddy. Even if he got off, we know that everybody would distance themselves from him with disgust. And we ask that you do the same thing to the puppet masters. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Father, we thank you for destroying all of that magic and all of our people where our energy was distorted. By this music, Father, we ask that you do another magical spell and break all of those curses, all of that sorcery of sound and visuals, technology, corruption and money. We ask that you destroy all of it and heal our nation. You know, everything that corrupted our people, whether it is the desire to be tied to the things of this matrix, fame and fortune and glory, whether it be that, the desire to hate one another, brother against brother, sister against sister, mother against daughter, father against son, 
East Coast against West Coast, we ask that all of that fall to dust, abracadabra, and bring back our brotherly love like you promised us, Father. Heal our nation and bring back the respect and the love that we had for each other. As friends and family to each other, unite us together as one, Father. Abracadabra. Father, once again, we thank you for allowing us to bring this case. We know that you heard the whole matter that we set before you, and we ask you for judgment and justice. Father, we ask you to order the destruction of all of their energy collection ports. All of them, Father. Abracadabra. Father, we come before you boldly, courageously, and fearlessly to bruise the head of the serpent seed on the top of that pyramid. As you said we would, they have bruised our heels for over 400 years, Father. And we were asleep and disarmed, but we're no longer asleep and disarmed. And we fight back, Father. And we strike them on the head with this case here. Abracadabra. Those that have rode out there Missions with impunity against us, Father. We ask you to balance the scales, Father. All of that wickedness, all of that evil that's on their side of the justice scale, Father. We ask you to balance the scales. Balance the scales, Father. Abracadabra. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity to fight back. We have no power against these people. Except for you gave us the opportunity to have power, not only in this 3D, but being connected to the 5D. We thank you, Father. And most of all, we do worship and praise you, Star Seed United. You know what to do. Give your Father praise and glory. Give your beautiful mother adoration and pledge your allegiance to our big brother, the black Messiah, the king. And the God of this earth. Yes, who I know that was involved in the destruction of the music industry working against us in a magical way. We pledge our allegiance to you, big brother, king and God of this earth that rules over the airwaves and the algorithms. Yes, hallelujah. That is the download. That I have for you, Star Seed United. Star Seed for life. Yes. Let me tell you, our energy is so potent until it shapes the world. Yes, hallelujah. The Most High has given us so many receipts of our victories. So what I'm looking for is for all of them to be swallowed up, just like P. Diddy. Those puppets. Those Hebrew Israelite wicked ones, they're already getting it. They're already being swallowed up. But those puppet masters and the ones that rule over the puppet masters to go against our kingdom and cause the whole world to despise us. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing it just, it, it, it's going to be something coming in the news that what's happening with P. Diddy. It's, it's going to be nothing in comparison. It's going to be so explosive until these people are going to be trying to run for their bunkers. They're going to be trying to run underground. But there's nowhere to run to, baby. Nowhere to hide. They're going to be getting it from the 3D dimension and from the 5D dimension with these judgments against them for what they've done to us. They have bruised our heel on so many occasions and now we're striking them back on the head yes all praises to the most high and our beautiful mother of wisdom who've given us all of this wisdom and showed us strategies how to fight them back and destroy all of their plots yes all praises to the most high thank you guys so much for your support of this station all your wonderful comments 
joining me in this fight. Don't forget to hit the like. That is you validating that you're in the fight with me. Star CG90, don't forget to put your abacadabras and your 777s in that comment section. This is all going into the ethers, and we're calling for judgment. And what we say, our words matter in the 5D. The whole universe is watching this whole thing play out. And the Most High has chosen us to be a part of it, of this great reset. Yeah, so congratulations, Star Seed United. Thank you for your gifts of love. Really do appreciate it. Yes, may the Most High bless you a hundredfold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all of the days of our lives. And we will once again dwell in that magical holy palace with our Father, the Creator of all things, our beautiful Mother, the Holy Spirit, Marihala, and our big brother, the Messiah, the King, and the God of this earth, Abracadabra. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share all of this good news. Star Seed United. Star Seed United for life. Yes, we have many victories. Thank you so much for your gifts of love. May the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. And tell the next judgment news, your big sister, the Hebrew widow, the Hebrew rose, Jericho out. Shalom.